Good day to everyone. Um, we are now on lesson 3. So, in lesson 3, this is continuation. And we're taking up now the quiz 3. So, after presenting the types of verbs, you need to back read for you to recall the lessons and be prepared for check up quiz. So back read. Sample lang, we back read the lessons. Then, if you are ready, then click the button Quiz 3. So in Quiz 3, we're going to read the instructions. Welcome to Quiz 3 Rogelio, Part 1, Identification. Based on the definition, you are going to identify what types of verb being defined. Your choices are finite, non-finite, action, helping, linking, regular, and irregular. So, in number one, verbs that change their form completely. So, we're going to answer irregular. So, the correct answer is irregular. Okay, number two, connect the subject to a noun or adjective and the answer is linking okay next number three talk about what the subject is doing in the sentence so we're going to choose pinit and pinit action helping linking regular regular so we're going to answer action okay. the correct answer is action number 4 indicative of number singular or plural and we choose finite okay. number 5 verbs that form their past participle with D or ED. So, the answer is regular. Uh, help the main verb in a sentence by extending the meaning of the verb. So, from the whole word self, help. So, helping. Helping verb. Okay, number seven, use as nouns, adverbs, and adjectives. So, we use the noun, finite. Okay, the part is non finite. Number eight. Kinds of verbs that have a definite relation with the subject or noun. So, finite is the answer. Okay. Also known as the main verb, principal verb, and lexical verb. So, action. Action. The correct answer is action. Okay, number 10. These verbs do not undergo substantial changes while changing forms between tenses. So, the answer is regular. Okay, the correct answer is regular. So, we are now on the part 2. So, there's a button. Click the button. Part 2. Okay, so part 2. Picture quiz. So, let us see the direction first. So, you are going to determine what types of verbs are presenting on the picture. So, we have here, uh, the thief, escape again. So, subject, thief, then past tense, again. So, escape, again. So, the thief, escape, again. So, your choice is finite or non-finite. Mm, 
So the answer would be pin hit. Okay, the correct answer is pin hit. Next, number two. Um, Sarah is crying with joy. So, is present. Subject, Sarah. Sarah is crying with joy. Mm, pin it or non-pin it? So, the choice is uh, pin it. Okay, the answer is pin it. So, let's have number 3. So, Todd sneezed loudly. Who did Todd sneeze on? So, no subject. Todd sneezed loudly. Your choice is transitive. Transitive. So, we're going to have in transitive. Okay, the correct answer is intransitive. The Todd sneeze on Gal. Who did Todd sneeze on? So the object. So your choice is transitive or intransitive. So the answer is transitive. Okay, okay. Okay, transitive. Okay, let's have now question number five. Rob must have eaten my cake. So Rob must have eaten my cake. So your choice is primary or models. So ha must have eaten models. The correct answer is no doubt. So, part 3. So, in the test read the directions. So, part 3 regular and irregular verbs. Directions choose the word in closed parentheses. We have here yesterday my sister blank home late. So, come, come, scream. So, yesterday my sister home came home late so your choices come comes came okay, came okay the correct answer is came so number seven i belong to the supermarket two hours ago go goes when so, I blank to the supermarket two hours ago. Choices go, goes, when. Okay, when. Okay. When is the answer. Okay, let's have now number eight. I blank in Baras when you called me. Feel, feels, felt. I blank in Baras when you called me feel feels felt. So answer is felt. Let's try the felt. Next picture. Regular verbs. She blank. A picture so here we have the regular verbs and then the corresponding picture so she blank a picture so we have the option painted a paint or painted so painted the correct answer is painted okay next we have number 10 so, 
regular verbs. He blank the bowling ball. He blank the blow the bowling ball. So past tense. So we use this lifted. So, the correct answer is lifted. So, congratulations, Relio. You have done lesson 3. So, uh, again, in, less, in this video, uh, I presented to you um, in the part 1. So, we have the text base. Like this one, the 1 to 10. This is the text base. So, let's start with number 1. Text base. So, Okay, the text base and then by choosing finite non finite action helping linking regular and irregular so in the part two of the quiz is we have the um, the part two is a picture quiz so you're going to determine the types of base in the picture yeah so I'm integrating now the teacher bought the picture and then uh, so look at it so the, the the quiz is through picture and also a backup on a text in every line if ever the student is free data so uh, you have to remind your students when doing your quiz so it needs data or no data at all if there is no data and have the picture so they cannot view so what thing to do is as a teacher uh, we're going to put La and the text like for example number five rob must in my case so th the choices will be there uh, for th still the student who don't have the wi-fi or connection to wi-fi or don't have their data still they can participate in the lesson so in here i'm a combination of picture and text so i hope that i can help you again in improving your teacher bot and subscribe for more big updates on the video and for the next video that i'm going to make is about uh, how we're going to record the scores here in the quiz 3 so it's an integration also okay so i think that's all for this uh this presentation and good day